So welcome back to part two. Um, I realize I left you rather abruptly in part one, um, but I'll just resume from where I left off now. So, as you can see here, I've made a couple of changes. First off, our line here is now bent in to the left and off to the right. This is just to illustrate an effect I'm trying to demonstrate to you now. So, select our sphere. Now, the next option I was going to show you before is called follow. This pretty much means that the rotation of your sphere, the general rotation, will match the rotation of the line. But you can see here that the targeting box matches the line, the rotation. Here you've also got banking. And this, is, this is the reason that I bent the line. If we choose bank here, you'll see that the sphere will actually, in real time, follow the line. As the line turns left, it will bank towards us. This could be useful if you have an aircraft instead on this um, animation line. The sphere will follow the aircraft. Let me give you an overhead view here. You can see there, the sphere is now following that line. So, next off, I want to show you something called looping animation. This is very useful if you want to create a simple animation, but don't want to have the keyframe it a hundred times. If we create a simple sphere here in our top viewport, and we make a keyframe for it, so head into the motion tab and position create key. Now we've assigned the sphere to begin our animation here. When we move ahead ahead to frame 25, for example, then create another position key so that our sphere always ends animation here. And now we head to the middle of our animation again and choose auto key. We will then go into move mode and move our sphere So now, as you can see, we have a very simple animation where our sphere pulls forward and moves back to its original position. Now, this is a very simple example, but I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. You can pretty much create any animation you wish, what, so long as it begins and ends at the same point in space in your scene, you can create any number of these. But rather than copying and pasting this, these keyframe sequences over and over, there was a very efficient way you can, you can use to manage this. So I'm going to show you something new here called Track View, or rather Curve Editor. If we just open up a Track View here, and we have a look at our animation of the sphere, you'll see we have keyframes for it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate these keyframes. So this same animation here is going to be looped whatever number of times we, we want it to. So, so what we're going to do is apply a loop modifier to our selected keyframes here. Now, we need to loop this. So, choose in and out on our loop, select OK. And now you'll see it has cloned an infinite number of these keyframes. So if we head back here and zoom out a bit, then play our animation. You'll see it will now continue looping that animation. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you can understand how this works. Um, you create a possession of keyframes where the object begins at a certain point, moves to another point during the animation, and then ends on the same point. The easiest way to do this is by creating your keyframes for the end and be the beginning and end in advance, then working from there, creating your animation in between. This will ensure a relatively smooth animation. So next I want to demonstrate to you um, how to create very simple reactor physics. This may not be exactly what you would use for everyday animation, but if you do need to simulate something, for example, a collision, then reactor will be very useful in creating that effect for you rather than keyframing each object moving as the moving object collides with it. That doesn't really make much sense, but I'm sure you'll understand once I have uh, finished detailing it. I'm going to leave the reactor explanation for a separate video. 
um, just that it all doesn't seem uh, mixed up into a single tutorial which could become confusing. So I'll see you in the next video then. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you found this helpful.